All the way back in the year 303, when Emperor Diocletian demanded the destruction of the Christian faith, the leading pastor of the village of Myra was none other than Nicholas, St. Nicholas to you. You see, Santa Claus didn't begin his career as a chubby old coot who hangs out with reindeer at the North Pole. He was a pastor. He tossed some gold coins one time through a window, some said it was through a chimney, to provide dowries for three girls whose father had lost everything. Now, During Diocletian's persecution, the Roman governors tortured St. Nick and threw him into a dungeon. When he was finally released, his entire body was streaked with blood and the people called out as they saw him, Nicholas, confessor, recognizing him as someone who confessed Jesus as Lord in the face of terrible torture. Now, when the false teachings of Arius got to Asia Minor, Nicholas stood just as firm as he had before. There's even some evidence that he showed up at the Council of Nicaea. The story goes that he got into a heated debate with Arius about whether Jesus was really the eternal God or not. At one point, Arius broke out into a song to defend his teachings, and the song was something like this. The uncreated God created the Son, the beginning of all things. The uncreated God adopted the Son, advancing Himself as King. The persons in the Trinity do not share equal glory. Well, St. Nick didn't care for this tune. The debate ended at least for a moment when Santa Claus punched Arius right in the face, right in front of the council. If this really happened, it gives a whole new meaning to the song. He's making a list and checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Because teaching heresy is what will get you on this Santa Claus's naughty list. And if you do, you could end up on the floor.